Being the child of a celebrity looks pretty awesome from the outside. They get to live in the lap of luxury, travel the world, and pal around with mom and dad's famous friends. But believe it or not, there is a downside. The pressures and temptations of fame sometimes take a harder toll on the children of celebrities than the actual celebrities themselves. And when they do get into trouble, it tends to be a really big deal to the public. And a living nightmare for their parents' press agents. Here are some of the tales of celeb kids who became black sheep for their bad behaviors. Montana Fishburne You might know Lawrence Fishburne from The Matrix or Apocalypse Now, or maybe even Pee Wee's Playhouse. But what you probably don't know is that he's also the dad of a one-time porn actress by the name of Montana. His daughter did very publicly humiliate her father by appearing in a 2010 sex tape, which was a much more intense show of rebellion than your typical rich kid on Hollywood Boulevard-style DUI. Oh, oh, you bad now. Fishburne has since come to regret her on-camera exposure, saying that she didn't make much money and certainly didn't become famous as a result of her, um, work. And while Dad did try to step in and block the film's release, he's since shunned Montana from his life altogether. Nicole Buffett Billionaire Warren Buffett's thoughts regarding his wealth are well known. He famously still lives in the Omaha, Nebraska house that he purchased in 1958, drives modest cars, and has pledged to give away 99% of his fortune to philanthropic causes. And no one feels the pinch of Buffett's fiscally conservative philosophy more than his heirs. Nicole Buffett, the adopted daughter of Warren's son Peter, appeared on a documentary called The One Percent and revealed that the mega-rich investor agreed only to pay for his grandchildren's education expenses and nothing more. Her decision to appear in the movie did not go over well, as Grandpa Buffett wrote Nicole a scathing letter telling her that she was never even a true member of his family. Ouch. Oliver Hudson in 2015, Kate Hudson's lesser-known brother, Scream Queen star Oliver Hudson, posted a throwback Instagram photo of himself, Kate, and their biological father, Bill Hudson, to celebrate Father's Day. But there was a catch. As a caption to the photo, Oliver wrote, Happy Abandonment Day. For Bill, that was pretty much the nail that sealed the coffin of his relationship with Oliver and Kate, because he responded, quote, I say to them now, I set you free. I had five birth children, but I now consider myself a father of three. I no longer recognize Oliver and Kate as my own. He is dead to me, as is Kate. I am mourning their loss even though they are still walking this earth." End quote. Of course, Bill was no saint himself, hence Oliver's post in the first place. Bill had reportedly declined his custodial rights to the siblings when Kate was just 13, focusing instead on his new family. I do really recognize whatever those issues are, are just something that he has to live with. And that must be painful for him. Right. And so, and I, I forgive him. Nick Hogan. Former wrestling champ Hulk Hogan's son, Nick, got his then-reality star family into even bigger headlines when he reportedly caused a horrific drunk-driving accident that left his friend, John Graziano, with debilitating, lifelong injuries. Hogan had been drag-racing another friend when he lost control of his car and hit a tree. The tragically irresponsible decision, which happened around the same time as Hulk Hogan's separation from his wife, caused Hulk to sink into a deep depression, during which he even contemplated suicide. Fortunately, Hulkster bounced back and went on to survive another public scandal. But Nick's friend still lives with the consequences of their poor decision to drive that night. Chet Hanks Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson have two sons, but only one of them is a rapper who goes by the name Chet Hayes, aka Chet Hanks. In reality, he's Chester Marlon Hanks, son of one of the most recognizable celebrities in the world. And yet, that hasn't stopped him from threatening Howard Stern with physical violence, repeatedly dropping racial slurs on Instagram, getting his parents sued for a car accident he allegedly caused, and becoming addicted to cocaine. Fortunately for the whole Hanks fam, Chet has since gone to rehab, and he shared his addiction recovery story with the public in hopes of inspiring others to get clean, which his father openly applauded. As a parent, you love your kids unconditionally, and you support them in every step of the way, and you gotta applaud uh, uh, bravery and honesty when it comes to, when it actually comes out of uh, you know out of your own house. Chelsea Bell O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell's daughter Chelsea has thrown so much shade at Rosie in the press, it would make Donald Trump's hair spin. 
Chelsea claimed that her mother, who publicly reported her as a runaway, had actually kicked her out of the home and allegedly spends most of her time smoking marijuana and doing arts and crafts in a side house she bought specifically for her leisurely activity. Chelsea also revealed that Rosie has been inattentive to her children and she was, quote, pretty much raised by nannies. The two have since reconciled their differences and publicly appeared together in the summer of 2016. Caroline Giuliani Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani made a name for himself as a tough-as-nails prosecutor who famously targeted the mob's money in an attempt to take down the five major families who controlled criminal activity in the city. With his reputation for law and order in mind, imagine how he must have felt when his daughter Caroline was arrested in 2010 for shoplifting around $100 worth of cosmetics. For her admittedly petty crime, Caroline received the penalty of one day of community service during which she had to mop floors and clean toilets at a city garage. And Rudy, who has never previously seemed to be at a loss for words no matter what the subject, declined to comment on his daughter's offense. His silence is perhaps the loudest statement of embarrassment he could have possibly made. Christian Brando Marlon Brando's wild child and eldest of nine known children, Christian, easily takes the cake in the disgrace department. As a high school dropout who abused drugs and was perpetually unemployed, Christian Brando pushed the dark side of being a celebrity kid to its furthest limit. But then it got seriously twisted. On May 16, 1990, Christian Brando shot and killed his sister Cheyenne's boyfriend Dag Drelay in Marlin's Hollywood Hills mansion. Christian was allegedly defending his sister, who called him for help, claiming her boyfriend had hit her. Supposedly, a struggle ensued, at which point Christian accidentally shot Drolet, though the details are murky. The fact that Drolet was shot in the back of the head while he held a TV remote and cigarettes in his hand certainly didn't support his story that Drolet was in a fighting stance. Nevertheless, Marlon Brando pulled out all the stops for Christian's defense, even blaming himself for his son's actions because he'd failed him as a father. Christian was eventually convicted of voluntary manslaughter and served five years in prison. But it was his famous father who seemed to be punished by the sentence. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.